If your liquid cooled motorcycle fan is not working, stick around. I'm going to show you how I fix this one. This video applies to all liquid cooled motorcycles that use cooling fans to keep the motorcycle nice and cool. Even though the bike featured in this video is a 2009 Ducati 848, it applies to this bike. I've got a Suzuki SV650 over here that it would apply to as well. The only thing that I would ask is when we start talking about fuses and fuse box locations, go ahead and break your owner's manual out to figure out where all of these items are on your particular make and model. Okay, just to give you a quick summary of my problem here, last weekend I pulled my motorcycle out into the driveway to warm it up and the fans failed to operate. The motorcycle overheated and started shooting steam out of the openings in the fairings here. Fortunately, I have water wetter in my motorcycle and the incident in the driveway did not cause a big mess. So if your fans stop working like mine did, the next big question is, what are you supposed to do next? If you have an onboard diagnostics feature like I do on this bike, your first step is to determine if an error code has been generated. And on this bike, you know when a code has been generated when this amber warning light is lit up here. Now, to get over to see exactly what the error message is, I'm going to toggle this switch right here and there should be a very short message that indicates the problem area and a code as you can see here. Okay, now that we know the error code that has been generated, take your owner's manual and open it up to the section that contains all of the errors. We're looking for 18.2 and this is numerically listed here. So there's 18.2, it's a fan warning light and it says here that it's a fan relay error. Now even though this says that it's a fan relay error, that doesn't necessarily mean that our fan relay is bad. So our next step is to check the fuse and on this motorcycle the fuse box is right here. And let's find the section that talks about fuses. Here is the key to the fuse box on this particular motorcycle. Now guys, I'm going to remind you again, if you don't have a 2009 Ducati 848, you need to look in your own owner's manual to get this information. The Ducati 848 has seven positions in the fuse box. And here's a description of the devices that they help protect, along with the amperage rating for each fuse. We're looking for fans and it happens to be the last one on the bottom there, position number seven. If you look here in the, in the underside of the lid of the fuse box, you can see the numbers that we just read in the owner's manual. And we're looking for number seven, which is this fuse over here. It's a 7.5 amp fuse. And we're gonna go ahead and pull that to see if it's a blown fuse. Now, some fuses you can actually pull out by hand, but those are pretty tight. We're going to go over and I'm going to show you a couple of the tools that I have here. I have this small kit that I bought that has all of the right fuses that I would need for my motorcycles with a few spares as you can see. Now these kits typically will come with a fuse puller like this one here. This is a good one that allows you to squeeze it and then just pull it out. And then if you don't have any of those, you can always just use a pair of needle nose pliers to pull those out. It just slips down over the fuse like that, squeeze it, and pull it out. Another option, and we'll use that now too, is the needle nose pliers, since some of you may not have the actual fuse puller. Basically just, just grab a hold of it, pull it straight out, and there's your fuse. Take note that all of the fuses in this box are considered mini blade fuses. These are not the smallest, but they're they're, they're mini fuses, and there's only one other fuse on my motorcycle, and it's a, a regular size 30 amp fuse, and on this particular bike, it's located right here in front of the battery, and that's for the electronic regulator. Okay, guys, I think you can actually see this fuse now pretty well on the inside, and you can tell that it's broken by looking at it uh, the, in the center part here. These two metal tabs should be connected together. Let me pull up a new one. 
and we'll do a side-by-side -side comparison. I'm really zoomed in tight here so so you can see the difference between these two fuses. The one on the right here is good and the one on the left is bad. Now at this point we could just go ahead and replace the fuse but before we do that I like to poke around a little bit to see if there are any glaring issues at play that caused the fuse to blow in the first place. If we don't do that and there's a short in the wire or something else going on here we're just going to continue to pop fuses as soon as we put them in and start the bike up. Let's go ahead and check the fans. Now this motorcycle has two fans. There's one on this side and you can see this, this fan is spinning completely free with absolutely no signs of an obstruction. Let's go over and check the other side. Okay, the other fan on this side is also spinning freely. Some owners have reported a slight shift in the radiator back in the direction of the fans. And if those blades become obstructed, that will cause a fuse to blow. Other owners have found pieces of gravel, twigs, and other road debris lodged in between the fan blades and the radiator, including mud and tar blocking the movement of the fan. And I think one of my favorites was a report on a Kawasaki forum a few years ago of a mud dauber. Apparently a mud dauber was able to work its way in between the fan and the radiator built a nest and yes that would also cause a fuse to blow if it blocks the fan operation. Now on this particular model you can see the throttle cable here it snakes down between the frame and the radiator in between the fans here and you can see the cable there. There are some reports of that cable interfering with the fan so check your motorcycle to make sure that that's not a problem on your bike and if it is you should be able to reposition that and use a zip tie to secure it away from the fan operation. Use a flashlight to see if there are any noticeable nicks or cuts in any of the wiring. Obviously these wires can be prone to rubbing up against the, uh, the frame, the metal frame or other parts in the motorcycle and if that happens you could get a short and that would actually be your problem most likely. If the problem persists then we would follow up with additional items. Let's go ahead and replace the fuse. And it's very important that you use a new fuse that has the same exact amperage of the fuse that you took out. So check your owner's manual and take a look at the fuse that you removed that was blown and make sure that you use the same exact amperage in that fuse. These blades just slip in and you can push them in by hand. Make sure they're all nice and seated there. Those are the main things that I check before trying a new fuse out. And if we're lucky, this fuse just went bad due to vibration or maybe it's the fact that it's an old fuse. I think this one's about eight years old and hopefully that's going to be the problem and the new fuse that we just put in will take care of that for us. If it blows again, we're going to have to keep searching. Additional possible problems include a bad fan relay, a dead fan motor, or as mentioned before, a short in one of the wires here. If none of these items are the culprit, we could have a bigger problem. The regulator rectifier could be the issue, or the ECU might not be working properly. Now that the new fuse is in place, let's go ahead and turn the ignition on to see if the error code cleared out. And you can see immediately that it no longer exists. Okay guys, we're back in the garage after bringing the bike up to temperature. I cycled the fans about four or five times and the good news is the fuse did not blow. And we don't have any error messages. found this video helpful. If you did, go ahead and click the thumbs up and leave a comment if you've experienced this before. 
Don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching.